<laughs> sense of humor or gentleness. I don't know how it seems to you, but I'm not here to cry or complain. During the adversity, and keep that smile and keep fighting. Otherwise, the problem of self. Huh? I was born in Karaj, Iran, in 1988, and took on the sport of kickboxing at the age of eight with coach Qasem Muradi in my own city. In the first match, I won gold medal in Tehran. When I fought with adults for the first time, I was only 14. After 10 years, I moved to coach Hassan Ali Muhammadi, who revolutionally changed me in sport and helped me a lot to improve, not just as a fighter, but also as a person. He taught me a lot. And maybe one of the very best fighters out there. But I just never could be the number one because of life circumstances and the system, whole system over there. Once I finished the military service, I eventually could leave the country and come over to Thailand to train and fight the professional. But an injury in my leg changed my whole plan. I decided to take on uh, boxing for some time and come back to kickboxing again, but the very, very first professional I had changed my whole life. In my first professional fight, I faced former two division world champion Silimon Gonsing Mancha. Credible record 65 wins, only two losses. <laughs> That was a whole different thing, a very big stage for me. The level of my fighter, his experience, and uh, I was so tough. But I had no fear, and I had the willing and desire to make something out of it. And I gave it all. Uh, but it wasn't as effective as his performance was. Just like this. <laughs> Afterward, he kept punishing me and hammering with those left uppercuts in the liver and giving devastating body shots to finish me up. But I just don't know how to quit. Round 7 was the hell of the round for me because it was totally one sided. He was hammering me with all of those heavy shots and I was about to be knocked out. But I gave me all, I fought my whole heart and I survived the whole round. In round 8, I realized he's mentally given up. He knows he can't finish me up. That was the, that was the best moment of my life. I just realized that I can't do something. So the whole, whole landscape changed. I started going forward and putting pressure. And I was an aggressive fighter. The whole body language, the whole landscape changed. <laughs> I got a lot of self-confidence and more determination to do what I couldn't do before. But it just wasn't enough to win. When round 12 ended, I was like, damn, I fought 12 rounds with this guy? Can't believe that. And yeah, I did. I did. I lost some point and I have a lot of respect for this guy. Honestly, it was the greatest thing I ever achieved in the sport. But it's just beginning. I behold that to the best and last trainer in Iran, Hassan Ali Muhammadi. Without him, it wouldn't be possible. He taught me a lot and he was just the man. Uh, you know, the world are not enough to describe him. I really love him. During the fight with Silomonko, my intercostal muscle was extremely hurt 
and recovery took a crazy time. Finally, after nine months, I returned to the ring and scored a unanimous decision victory over another former world champion. I returned to the ring again in December and made another four rounds decision victory over another Thai guy. Thailand is a land of Muay Thai. If you're a foreigner and you're trying to do Western boxing here, you're absolutely in the wrong place. You're going to be used for the fighter's record and nobody takes care of you. And I had to train by myself, be my own trainer. I was a fighter and trainer at the same time. My knowledge of fitness and nutrition is pretty poor, but I had to do what I could to do to keep myself in a better shape and condition to fight. It's just an impossible affair to, to train boxing in Muta gyms. You have to teach them, but fortunately, I was surrounded by very good MMA and Muta fighters, and at least we could have a lot of good sparring sessions together, which Help me a lot to keep myself in shape and you know work on my reactions. Politics and international relations has always been a big barrier and obstacle for my career inside and outside the country and uh, for instance I had a contract with a promotion from Panama for two years and I couldn't make it there so I had to stay at Thailand and fight anyone they offered me and that's how my record was destroyed by them as everything was dictated, I had to face fighters with a lot much more expense than myself and going up and down in weight. And whenever I fight fight against distance, I was robbed. Winning over time in their home on point is impossible. There is no easy way out. It's quite tough and there is a lot of up and down. But if you get down, you have to get Pick up and go on stronger and more motivated than before. You will never ever be able to change people, but you can choose which type of them you want to have in your life. I'm really glad and lucky to have these people around myself and I can share my best and worst times with them who are more depressed with my sadness and more happy with my success especially Bezat I'm really really lucky to have such good boy in my life the World of Karate was the very first magazine I ever worked with as a journalist. And I'm like Wikipedia about k and I remember I saved all the stories in my mind. And in 2012, I got a chance to be on TV for the first time. On Physic TV with my lovely friend, Mosef Sarwendi. بریم به سراغ خبرنگار و گزارشگرمون در کشور تایلند محمد رضا حمزه الان روی خط تلفنی ما هستن تا ببینیم چه اخباری رو برای ما دارن در رابطه با رقابت های MMA. سلام بر تو حمزه جان. درود بر شما رشتون همچنین بیانگان پارسی زبان برنامه‌مون در سراسر دنیا. In Thailand it's impossible to find an experienced and qualified boxing trainer, but there are real men from combat sport and so many good fitness coaches. 
but most of the other rely on sparring, which always saved me and helped helped me to to stay active and get better. But it's not much fun to spar with the bigger guys. <laughs> After all the happenings in 2013 and all the lessons learned, I came back a lot different and stronger. <laughs> and made some of them quit, which made, made it more difficult for me to get another fight. Would you like to say something in Farsi? Sorry? Farsi? That's wrong. I'm Persian. Parsi. Parsi. Oh, okay, okay. Sure.